morbid obesity symptoms and prevention clinically severe obesity which people sometimes called morbid obesity can increase the risk of a range of other health issues for an adult having clinically severe or class 3 obesity involves having a body mass index bmi of 40 or above and a high percentage of body fat bmi is not a diagnostic tool but it can indicate the risk of developing various health issues having severe obesity can make it difficult to do everyday activities such as walking breathing and sleeping it can also increase the risk of cardiovascular disease type 2 diabetes and various other health conditions according to the national institute of diabetes and digestive and kidney diseases around 1 in 13 People in the United States had severe obesity in 2013 to 2014. In this video, learn more about what clinically severe obesity is and which treatments are available. What is morbid obesity? When an adult has severe obesity, they have a high percentage of body fat and a BMI of 40 or above. BMI is a skill that helps medical professionals tell whether a person has a risk of developing certain health conditions. The following chart shows different classifications of BMI. BMI and description. Under 18.5, underweight. 18.5 to less than 25, moderate weight. 25 to less than 30 overweight 32 less than 35 class 1 obesity 35 to less than 40 class 2 obesity above 40 class 3 obesity a person with obesity has a greater risk of heart disease and other conditions the higher the class of obesity the greater the likelihood of developing this complications however it is worth nothing that a person's BMI does not necessarily indicate whether they have a healthy weight. It does not reflect the percentage of muscle mass compared with the percentage of fat in the body. Checking a person's wrist to hip ratio and the distribution of fat in their body can give a better idea of their risk of developing complications. Scientists have linked a high waist circumference due to body fat with a greater risk of cardiovascular disease. Risk factors. Certain factors can influence the risk of developing any class of obesity. For example, dietary habits and activity levels can affect a person's levels of energy. Socioeconomic conditions can limit access to fresh food and the ability to exercise. Genetic factors may play a role. Family history may contribute through both genetic and environmental factors. Some medical conditions have links with obesity including Cushing's syndrome and polycystic ovary syndrome. Stress and anxiety can increase levels of the hormone cortisol, which can affect fat storage and weight gain. A lack of sleep may contribute. Do social factors affect the risk of obesity? The authors of a 2017 review of studies from around the world suggest that the following social factors, among others, may play a role. Stress due to trauma, relationship problems, financial difficulties, or a combination. Levels of health and dietary awareness. Workplace settings, including working hours and the likelihood of eating takeout. Access to and availability of healthy food. Access to grain space and other considerations involving urban living and activity levels. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of CDC, 
obesity affects around 49.6 percent of black people 44.8 percent of hispanic people and 42.2 percent of white people in the united states however a 2017 survey published by the cdc reveals a more clear picture indicating that the prevalence of obesity varies according to combinations of factors such as education level income gender and race the relationships among these factors appear to be complex symptoms and signs a person with obesity may experience sweating tiredness joint and back pain difficulty breathing sleep problems including snoring difficulty with physical activity low confidence and feelings of isolation high blood pressure and other symptoms of metabolic syndrome symptoms of other complications which we describe below of the video indications of severe obesity include a high build up of fat around the body a bmi bmi of 40 or above signs of complications such as hypertension complications the complications of obesity can include metabolic syndrome which includes type 2 diabetes high blood pressure and other features high levels of bad cholesterol and low levels of good cholesterol high levels of triglycerides stroke heart disease gallbladder disease osteoarthritis sleep apnea and other breathing problems mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety some cancers body pain difficulty with daily functions and activities a high risk of hospitalization due to covid-19 especially among hispanic and black americans these conditions can affect a person's life expectancy and quality of life diagnosis if a person visits their doctor with concerns about their weight or bmi the doctor will likely measure their weight and height to confirm their bmi ask about dietary and exercise habits consider the person's individual and family medical histories do blood test to look for health conditions and may underlie obesity test for complications that may need medical attention such as high blood pressure prevention there is no single way to lose weight or prevent weight gain the best option will depend on the individual however dietary strategies and exercise can help dietary tips can include consuming plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables favoring whole or unprocessed foods avoiding trans fats and saturated fats and opting for healthy fats such as from saw flour or corn oils limiting the intake of sugar and sweetened foods monitoring the caloric intake if a healthcare professional recommends this using a smaller plate eating only at regular times eating more slowly avoiding triggers and habits that lead to overeating such as having some cake with coffee at break times current guidelines recommend that when possible adults get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity a week this could include walking swimming or cycling for example it might involve 10 minute sessions several times a day on most days of the week a doctor can advise about how much and what type of exercise a person should do depending on their overall health age and other factors